Let me just show you. This is a single crochet piece. You can see that. And this is another Tunisian crochet piece that I did that um, used a G hook instead of an H hook. The same yarn that I'm using now. On the end here, I went into one loop rather than the two loops that I showed you on the on that I just showed you in the video. What I want to show you is the difference in size between the Tunisian and the single crochet. They're both 40 stitches. Let's see if I can get those. See that's the beginning. And you have this much of the single crochet piece more than the Tunisian piece. See how it curls? I told you it was going to curl. That's just to give you an idea. In case you're making something that you want to cross stitch on here and it has to be a certain size, you can cross stitch on the single crochet and you can also cross stitch in the little squares of the Tunisian. Now I have, let's count my rows, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 rows of squares. I want 11. So I've got my loops on my hook. I'm going to work these off. Remember how we do that by going through one loop and then two loops. Now here's that row ready to be worked on. I've switched to a regular crochet hook because for my bind up off I don't need to keep my loops on my hook. I'm going to still skip this first loop. I'm going to go into the second loop just as we were doing before yarn over and pull through, but I'm also going to pull through a loop on the hook. In other words, I'm making a slip stitch. Just as we did before, but going through both loops. We're going to do that all the way around. Well, all the way down the row. To finish off. When you get to the end, you do your last stitch and then you just clip your thread, your yarn, yarn over and pull through to finish off your piece. You see how it's curling? It's not curling quite as badly as the other piece. You see this one is pretty much curled in half, whereas this one is not. Now this is the same. Let's count our, our rows. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we had eleven on this one. Now, this piece was worked with the same yarn as this one. This is a J hook. This is a G hook. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but this fabric is a little bit tighter, not as many holes, whereas this one. It's a little bit holier, a little bit more open weave. And of course, there's the size difference. You can see you got a little bit more here with the J hook. A bit more length as well. Now, you notice uh, from going into the back loop on my chain. This is what our top looks like, our bottom looks like, and this is what our top looks like. I also wanted to do a small piece using the other method of going through all the way to the back. Notice the difference in the look that you get. See this? It's more like um, a knitted fabric. Okay, you can see the difference. Between 
between this and this. See how this one has little squares and this one is different. It doesn't have squares. It's more like a knitted uh, look. See it? Okay, now just to remind you of how that works. Here's your first loop here. We don't go into that one. And you have your, this is between the two stitches. We don't go in there. Here's your loops, your front loop, your back loop. And then here's the middle of that, those stitches. So we go between that front loop and back loop all the way to the back, grab the th yarn and pull it through. And you do the same in the next. Go through the middle all the way to the back pull through in the middle of the front and back loops not in the middle of the two stitches but in the middle of those two loops this is a small piece so I'm just using my regular crochet hook and then in the end you go through the two loops as well. And then you work them out just like you do normally. One, then two, 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 etc. And you get that look. So that you can do it either way, but you don't get the same look. By no stretch of the imagination do I uh, claim any type of um, perfection or um, expertise in this method of Tunisian crochet. This tutorial is just to give you a beginning uh, lesson just in basic Tunisian knit stitch and two different ways to do it.